how to buy rental properties with 100% financing. Yeah, you heard me right. You can get 100% financing on investment properties and start making money today. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you all of the secrets from a top expert that has been getting my students approved for years. I'm gonna share with you all of the secrets. We're gonna tell you exactly how to get it done and we're gonna share with you why you should get it done today. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, or you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Okay, so I am so excited to have you again, Miss Tanita Bailey, the money lady. We are talking about rental properties, getting investment properties, but again, with 100% financing, you're the money lady. Talk to me, but let's get right to it. How do people get approved for to buy a rental property with 100% financing? Because people are, are saying this is true, but let's talk about that. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me on the show today. I really, I mean, I follow you, I mean, for years and I, I know you're doing some, some major things and I appreciate that, especially educating people on how to build wealth. So, yes. and, and buying investment property is probably one of the best and fastest ways to do that. So your question was, okay, how do you do it? Especially yeah. if you don't have any money or yeah. a lot of money, right? Right, right. So, First of all, um, investor loans are probably the easiest thing to get, okay? okay? And you say, well, why? Why Why is it easy? Well, first of all, you don't need tax returns. Mm. You don't need pay stubs. You don't need W-2s, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually get approved for up to 80% loan mm -hmm. without having any income documentation, okay. right? Okay. Okay. So yes, I think people are okay. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. So you're saying they will loan you. So before <laughs> we even get to the 100 percent part, because I know you, like I said, my mind was blown when you was even sharing this. But the 80 percent, you're saying automatically, if people even have the 20 percent, before we get to how you find that other 20 percent, there's loans where no tax returns, no what no pay stubs, stubs, no, no W twos, no W twos, right? Okay. I mean, who who does that? You know yeah. who. Who, how can you get, how do you build wealth and you don't even have to prove your income, right? Love it. Yeah. So why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you take advantage of that? If That's you're right. That's first, right? you're right. That is definitely the first thing yes, <laughs> you need to know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So it is available. So how you get to a hundred percent. So we loan you the first 80%, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the beauty about buying investment property is that the 20% can come from other sources. Okay. So how you get to a hundred percent you can have a friend, a family member, a business partner. Uh, you can get loans. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that to make up that 20% difference. Okay. okay. And, and, and the beauty about investment deals, we, you know, we don't care where it comes from. As long as it shows up at the closing table. Now we, we have to verify before you get there, but, and, and, or at least, have a bank statement from wherever it's going to come from, mm -hmm. but the 20% can be gifted. It can be a partnership. What, you know, it's various ways that you can get to a hundred percent. So you don't have to use your money. Okay. Yeah, right. To purchase a home, to right. purchase investment property. Okay. And so it's so funny because uh, most people know me, you know, real estate millionaire, entrepreneur, mentor, author. And this is what I have been doing. Like a lot of how I got my rental properties were through things like subject to, and we, we'll talk about that in a second, but we're just talking about like, let's, how do you get financed? And so most of the people though, don't realize why they would even want a rental property and why they would want investment properties. So let's kind of just back up for a second. And even why would you do a hundred percent financing to get a rental property? Isn't that kind of risky? Well, you know, it's really not uh, because remember, investment property means that somebody else is going to be making that payment, right? right? So as long as the tenant, who is typically the one paying down the mortgage, mm -hmm. is paying more than what you're paying, okay, as the owner of the property, there's cash flow. Right. right, right, and that's the magic piece of rental properties is having additional cash flow come in so that you can continue to build your wealth, right? right. Or you can take that cash flow and go buy other properties, right? Okay? 
So cash flow is one of the real reasons why you want to invest and why you would do 100% is, is because other people are paying down the mortgage for you. Right. Now that makes sense. That makes sense. And so one of the things that I know, and I'm always teaching about, obviously I have created my wealth through real estate, but I also am formally educated. And I'll tell people there's more to real estate than just the rental income each month, because with real estate, it is going up in value over time. So, so kind of explain that to people and what lenders might be thinking and why they would even let you do hundred percent financing. Well, what they look at whenever we uh, get someone approved for an investor loan, mm -hmm. there is most of the time an appraisal done, right? Mm -hmm. So the appraisal uh, is done to make sure the value is there. So if the asset is the property, right? right? So you have to make sure that there's enough value in the property. It's going to appreciate in most cases, right? Yeah, yeah. Especially if you go in and renovate it or rehab it, you update it, you do some things to it, right? It's right. It's Appreciate. So lenders are looking for properties that are asset based, right? Mm -hmm. And going to fix it up. There's a tenant that's going to be paying that paying the mortgage, so it's less risky, okay. right? It's okay. less risky uh, than a property that's going to be vacant. That's right? true. That's very or dependent true. upon one stream of income, which is what most people have on their primary residence. Is dependent on you making that payment. But when you have investment properties, dependent upon the tenant. That's uh, right. Or tenants, if you have right. properties. Right, right, exactly. And then if they don't pay in many cases as the owner, you will pay. So it, it definitely right. gets paid. So let's kind of talk about some more of the risk. Because again, people are so afraid and I have so many students and I know you as the money lady can explain what is in it for them. So most people are afraid of, of tenants. You know what I mean? We're talking about rental properties. Now, I know you can do all different types of rental properties. You can do vacant, unfurnished. You can do furnished rental properties. You can do Airbnb, short-term rentals. You can do corporate housing. So there's so many different types of guests and tenants that you can have in the property. But I think what brings people to kind of pause a little bit is they don't think that most people pay. What are you seeing? Do you see that most tenants pay or is there like crazy amounts of evictions. You know, you know what I mean? Like, what are you seeing? <laughs> well, you know, it, it depends. It depends on who your tenants are. Okay. okay. Uh, if you're doing Airbnb, corporate housing, you know, some of those uh, less riskier tenants, mm -hmm. those people are going to pay. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, one you did mention is government housing. Right. Section, yeah. Section eight. Another good uh, st uh, tenant is student housing. Right. If you properties around a university, guess what? The school is going to pay you every single month for those properties, okay? Which is another good secret for owning investment properties and making sure the location is right because you can get paid. It's it's guaranteed money, right? right. And yeah, you have some people that's not going to pay you. Okay, so everybody have a deadbeat, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Everybody got somebody that's not paying and not doing what they're supposed to do. But life happens also. People lose their job. You know, things happen, right? So you mm -hmm. just get those people out. OK, and then you just go and and, you know, do it better the next time. Well, let me also tell you a secret that I have learned. OK, and this is where, you know, people really love me. Like I said, I used to invest in real estate and I knew nothing and I ended up losing everything because I knew nothing. I did not educate myself. But once I started going to classes and going to seminars and really educating myself on how to be a real estate entrepreneur, I learned a big secret that the more properties you have, the more rental properties and investment properties, the more stable you are. I think people think that they're stable just having one rental property or maybe just one or two. But quite frankly, say you have just two properties and one of them stop paying. That's 50 percent of your money versus me. If I have 10 properties and one person stop payment paying, I still have nine other properties making me money. You get Absolutely. what I'm saying? And most Absolutely. people, statistically speaking, pay their rent. OK, Absolutely. they really do. And, and, and they like do. you said, and then there's some guaranteed ways that you can start with your, your rental property. So I, I definitely don't think it's a, it's, a, it's a big thing to be afraid of, as people think, because I, I just that hasn't been my experience. I'll say that I've learned how to qualify people. Well, that's one of the things that you teach as well. And, and, and we make money with our properties and we sell them off every two to five years anyway, so that we're constantly cashing them out and getting hundreds of thousands of dollars for properties that, you know, we only own two or three years. 
Absolutely. And I think that's the biggest people that people miss. Yes, you're going to get rental income and cash flow, but the appreciation when you get ready to sell it. Right? That's right. And the equity I mean, and the equity. And the equity. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So as that's they're paying down that mortgage, you are getting equity in your properties that you can leverage. Again, you can sell them off for the, the big lump sums of cash or you can refinance them and pull some of that cash out and get even more rental properties. Now, that's what I recommend. OK, mm. so okay, I, let's talk about that. Yeah, I have a lot of clients that let's say they pay down that mortgage or they own the property free and clear. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of selling it, yeah, you want to get that lump sum of money. I get that. Okay. Yeah. But you can also do it by taking cash out. That's you right. want an equity line of credit for your primary or investment. You mm -hmm. can actually take that same cash. Now you can't get all of it up to 80% of the values, what you can get out of it, but you can take that cash that you have in a lump sum. Now the tenant is still paying, but you can still take that cash out and you can take that and go buy another investment property. How about I that? I love it. How about that? And I think that's what you just nailed. So now let's get to back to this 100% financing on rental okay. properties and how my students and me and other, like me, this is basically what I did and now I teach other people to do it. And I want you to explain it, how we do 100% financing Already just oh, once you get one rental property, doing a cash out refinance, and then so, so explain that because I, yes. I now you I just I'm like this is what I do to to get 100 percent financing and people don't even realize this like get that first rental property, get the first rental property, make sure that you know it's got some equity, which most of the time it is going to have equity in it, right? Mm -hmm. Take that money and then go buy other properties. So let's talk about the hundred percent. Okay. okay. So you always got to have money to make money, right? It doesn't have to be your money. That's it's right. <laughs> but you need some money to make money, right? <laughs> so you can take some equity out of that house. So let's say it's got 20% equity in it, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you can take that, you go get another 80% loan, take mm -hmm. that 20% out of the one you own. Mm -hmm. Now you got 100% on a second property, right. okay? And that second property can be a duplex, a fourplex, a triplex. It can be multiple units. So right. now you've gone from one unit to, you know, four units or five units, right? Right. All with 100% financing. Okay. Right? Because you took money from one you owned or... Mm -hmm. And you took that money and you actually put it down on another piece of property. So remember, there's no limit to, to investment properties. Right. No limit. No. You as many properties as you want. Yeah. There's, I mean, usually on regular uh, Fannie Mae loans, they limit you to nine or 10. I think they've actually kind of lifted that. But on business purpose loans, mm -hmm. okay, investor loans, That's right. you can buy as many of them as you want under your LLC. That's right. So, okay. So talk about that part, because I know that's the thing that people want to know. The LLC, putting it in your business's name. Just, just touch on that for a second, because I'm like, what, tell people to, what's the deal with that. Because you know, I think one of the things that uh, has made a difference, I know, in my investing business is that early on, somebody told me, never put real estate in your personal name. Now, you can right. put your primary, but investment properties don't do it. Right. Always buy it under your LLC. Buy it under the company. Mm -hmm. If you that there's two things that happen. First of all, you do have to personally guarantee the loan, but it's not on your personal credit. Right. That's a big deal. That is such a big deal. Yes. It's not on your personal credit. So let's say an unforeseen thing happened like the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got your rental properties and, and people are leaving. They're not paying. You know, you get behind on the mortgage. Guess what? It never shows up on your personal credit. Right. And I've seen this in hand to the sky. It has happened to me where I have paid them me. late and it just, yes. and I still have an 800 credit score. Absolutely. Because I, I don't even, right. Oh my gosh. Okay. To me, yeah. you are, have been an amazing, amazing guest. I know you have shared so much. So how can people reach out to you? Because they, they need to be getting rental properties. People need to know this is the number one way to wealth. I firmly believe in it. Some of these programs have went away and now they're back. So let's, let's talk about how we build wealth. Tell, tell people how they can reach you. 
and what to and, and how to get this done. So, you know, one of the best ways is is through our website, uh, okay. capitalcitymtg.com is our website. That's where you can go. You're going to find all different types of programs from traditional loans, non-traditional loans, investor loans. We even do commercial loans. So you can go to the site and you can see all the programs. If you want to do a loan or you have, you know, you just want to say, okay, what can I get pre-approved for? There's even something on the website where you can click the button to say apply now okay. and you can actually get you pre-approved. Okay. I love it. I love it. We're going to put that on the screen right here. I'll make sure my editors add this in because I know I had to steal your time, but thank you so much to Nita Bailey, the money lady. Thank you so much for sharing all this information. Hope my audience enjoys all of this. I know they will. And I, again, thank you so much for sharing because people don't share this type of information. You gave some gems there, girl. Yes. Thank you, Noelle. I appreciate you having me on. I look forward to working with all of your clients and your audience. Love it. Have love it. Real well. Thank you. Whoa, that was incredible. Now it is time for you to take action. Go to newlending.com and apply today so that you can get 100% financing on all of your rental properties. That's new lending, N-U-U-L-E-N-D-I-N-G.com. I have partnered with Capital City Mortgage so that you can get approved for rental properties and start growing your wealth and change your financial situation today. Go right now. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge, and all of the funding that you need for your success. This is Noelle, to your success.